Well, this is one of those yarns, a 19-year-old footballer who'd really cracked the big time. He'd signed a million-dollar contract and it seemed that nothing could stop Adam Ritson now. But a brain tumour did, and as he went through 14 operations, he was told that he would never play again. Worse still, his family were told that he mightn't even live. But in recent weeks, Adam Ritson's made an extraordinary medical comeback. So amazing that a football comeback may be his next goal. Oh, Adam Ritson was the youngest, the biggest and the richest teenager in Australian football. Until this winter's afternoon in Canberra, when he got clobbered once too often. And now Adam Ritson. Oh, Ritson taken high. Now who is it? He's setting off. If Adam had run into a, into a brick wall, it, it'd be better than him running into a swinging arm. This is Adam Ritson today at top speed. Still, it's a medical miracle. Just a few weeks ago, he was flat on his back and the only thing he could move was his eyes. I'd have a card with yes and no, and if I put it in front of me, I'd ask him a question and, and I'd look to see where his eyes were fo focusing on the yes or the no, and that's how we'd communicate. Along with his family, Ritson's girlfriend Rachel has had to live this seven-month yeah, nightmare. I mean, you sure there were nights I'd go home crying and thinking, am I going to see him tomorrow? But in a funny way, I knew deep down that he would, he'd still be there, like he'd come back. Do you know what I mean? Mm. But there was also a, there was a time, basically, when you were being told by doctors that you better prepare yourself for mm, the worst. Mm, mm. I knew Adam wouldn't leave me. I just knew. I just knew he wouldn't. Well, every morning I'd go to see him, and I'd go in at seven, and I'd whisper in his ear, Adam, you're going to make it, you're going to make it, you know? And then I'd think, oh, what if I can't keep this promise? <laughs> you know, what am I going to do? It was a nightmare, and, you know, every time there was a problem, we realised Adam was getting weaker and weaker. John Ritson is in computers. Marianne is an English teacher. But this family has lived Adam's love of football since he lost his baby teeth. Last year, his million dollar plus contract seemed to make it all worthwhile. Ritson steamrolls his way over. We're just normal working people, you know, and we, we survive. And when they say, you know, he's going to be paid so many hundreds of thousands of dollars, it was incredible. And, you know, it's not like in our realm of thinking, we sort of think on a small scale. But Adam had the world at his feet, he really did. When did you know he was a champion? Well, he's, he's, actually, been, he's actually shown it, I think, all through his years sort of thing. I mean, he's, everyone has uh, uh, remarked on you know, his ability and ever since he was young, and I suppose he's been uh, much uh, bigger than a lot of the other ones. You know, he just got bigger and bigger and bigger. He had a big heart. He'd run at a brick wall if they said to, you know, unfortunately. So when you got picked at 16 to play for a first grade side, 16, did you think, out there the big boys, this might be too young? No, I wasn't really worried about it. I was, I was more um, excited. I used to watch him with the binoculars and every time he got hit, I'd just watch and hold the binoculars on him and wait till he got up. And uh, my heart was in my mouth the whole time through. Marion used to actually embarrass me by yelling out and leave my boy alone and this sort of thing. <laughs> Did you? <laughs> even, even though he was so, even though he was so big and strong, he was—he's always Marion's, you know, little boy. That tackle that, that may well have saved his life. What do you remember of that? It was the fourth tackle of the game, and when Lomax hit him—that's when you're talking about. Adam, Ritson, Adam oh, came up off his feet, and he was knocked out before he hit the ground. And um, my heart was in my mouth. Do you remember that at all, Adam, that, that game? No, I don't. I don't remember it. You didn't remember it afterwards either, let alone? No. no. He had concussion, really bad concussion. He came home and he didn't know how he'd got there. He didn't know where his car was. He couldn't remember anything of the game at all. Because he'd ask you what happened, you'd tell him, and then five seconds later he'd say, what happened? Who hit me? A precautionary X-ray suddenly picks up a cyst on the brain. Nothing to do with head-high tackles. It's a cyst that he's had since birth. And what should be a simple operation becomes a life-threatening nightmare. Yes. 14 operations? Yes, 14 operations. 14 lots of anaesthetic. 14 holes in his head. And then another meningitis and then peritonitis. I mean, as parents, you must, or as a family, you must be thinking, what else can go wrong? But that's exactly right. It was like a nightmare that wasn't stopping, you know? And you just think, how much more can he take? Now, through all this time, Marianne, you kept a diary of what, of day by day? 
this was my therapy, this helped me get through the day. Anyway, this is where Dr Pell, Dr. Pell came and said, it's time for prayers. And I said to him, I've been praying all along. I couldn't believe he said that. I thought this is the last chance, the last throw of the dice. It was desperate now. And so there were 18 days on life support, but it's not 18 consecutive, it's he'd come no. on and off. He was six days the first time, and then when he got peritonitis, he was on it for another 12. And they said, it was a Sunday afternoon, they said, if we don't operate, it'll kill him. Uh, that's it, I'm dead. He couldn't walk, couldn't get out of bed, couldn't talk. Um, he was uh, very, actually very thin. For four months now, this bed in the Royal Rehab Centre has been home for young Adam Ritson. The medical director is Dr Brian Zeeman. Was it in layman's terms, was it what happened uh, comparable to a stroke? Um, in layman's terms? Oh, in layman's terms, yeah, yes. In a way, left like a quadri quadriplegic, um, but also couldn't speak. Oh, miracles are easy to perform, of course. <laughs> OK, stretch to the right. And stretch to the left. I remember the first time I saw him, I thought, Oh my God, where do I start? There was just so much to do. He could basically sort of just move his, his right hand and then... Um, can can you believe this? Is it like they're talking about someone else? Yeah, it feels like it. It's truly remarkable. In a few short weeks, the therapists here have written not just walking, but talking too. For the moment, he's lost his short-term memory. He recalls nothing since that tackle. So the challenge has been to make the rehabilitation of his mouth and his mind matches muscles. What's this? That's when he beat me. Did you, did you write that? Oh, I must have. <laughs> Six months ago, the neurosurgeons told Adam Ritson that this is the only football he'll ever play in the backyard. Incredibly, today, Dr. Zeman says the recovery's been so good, Ritson may yet get back on the paddock. Now, this news stuns the family. The only one pleased is the young football star himself. Uh, maybe the only one who can't remember how close he came to dying. I'm, I'm hopeful I'll play football again. Are you really? Yes. I would be terrified if Adam went back to football. But you were terrified when he was playing before. I know I was, but I'd be more so. I don't know how I can explain it to you, you know. So if he, if he can play, uh, that'll, be the, that'll be a miracle. That'll I think be we certainly owed one. <laughs> Adam Ritson is very much back in the land of the living, hunting on a losing nag in Adelaide, chomping on a snag in the backyard with his mates, and looking forward to a long life. When are you going to make an honest woman of her, Adam? Well, um, shortly maybe. Shortly maybe? Yeah. How soon, Rachel? Uh, probably in, in the next couple of years. Next couple of years. Maybe this year, maybe the end of the year. Maybe the end of the year, yeah. You get the feeling that Adam Ritson has been given the green light to get on with his life once again, with his family and with Rachel, with or without football. Big Adam Ritson, try three to the Sharks. It's a real nice bloke. It's still a long way to go, of course, but when you spend time with him, you realise that he's got his sense of humour back, and that's fantastic.